welcome to Playing the Field. I'm your host, John Mattis, and this week I'm here with a couple of members of the men's hockey team, Joey Pell and Kurt Jory. How are you guys this evening? Great, thanks. Good, thank you. Right, right on. Uh, so I guess where to start off uh, would be the opening game, the Vince Scott Memorial game. Um, there is, aside from obviously the memorial and that whole sentimental um, closing, how did you feel about the, the attendance at the game and just, just the fan base actually being there sold out? Uh, I thought it was great. Um, I know Vinny's uh, family really appreciated uh, having a big crowd like that and uh, so did all the members of our team. It's it's good to, good atmosphere to play in and I know the guys you know play a little extra harder when when we have a crowd like that behind us. Uh, I know it's with uh, our rink not on campus it's tough for students to get out sometimes so um, I think it's good to let the students know where we are and uh, hopefully uh, keep building on the fan base. And do you think that's something that can hopefully grow like do you think that that game itself kind of gives the awareness and now hopefully you can get more out to certain other games? Absolutely, I think, uh, you know, I, I've never met someone who's went to one of the games and, you know, was disappointed with the caliber of the hockey. I think it's just more of an awareness um, and then obviously location thing, but um, I think, you know, do, doing more promotional activities and uh, doing more ticket giveaways will be able to get a lot more people out. Um, and it also, it kind of relates to the the lack of knowledge about the quality of hockey that, that's being played at the CIS level. Um, I don't know if you can expand on that, Joey. Maybe um, just give them an example of, of the type of players that come through the system and really how it, how, it, how it matches up to the OHLs, the WHLs, NCAA, that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, no, it's a good question. Um, the league, the CIS, has definitely expanded in the last five years. A lot of guys have gone to play at higher levels and pro in North America as well as Europe. I know one of our teammates, uh, Ryan Damonte, our captain from 07, 08, recently uh, was called up to the AHL and we went and watched him play in Hamilton. Um, so it's, it's possible for guys to move up to higher levels. Um, uh, I know a few guys have signed NHL contracts, uh, AHL contracts from all uh, the three divisions across Canada. So the league has really improved definitely and uh, has got a lot more respect. I know a lot of teams have also gone down and played uh, some uh, schools in the states, the NCAA, and they've, they've fared well. So the, the league's growing for sure. It's getting more respect, and uh, the caliber is going to go up hopefully in years to come too. So it's good. And it might be one of those things where uh, the fact that everyone starts to go to university now, it's not such a rarity, then you're going to get higher quality players as well because everyone's going as it is. Um, can you comment a bit on Ryan Del Monte and uh, kind of his, his history after he played for the Badgers? Yeah, uh, well, the, his last year, his fourth year, he was our captain and went to Nationals and he had a, a very good season. And then the following year, he went to the East Coast Hockey League and was an All-Star his first year in the league. And then last year, he uh, actually was fortunate enough to win the whole league championship with the Cincinnati Cyclones. Then this year, he was called up to the HL to play for Rochester. So I mean, his career is, uh, is hopefully going to bloom from there. He's done very well for himself. Um, Obviously, I think coming to Brock for four years and developing and kind of becoming a man when he came here, he was 20 years old, and, and uh, he, uh, he has some chances to keep playing pro for a few more years and see where it takes him, but definitely he was a good example, and a lot of guys I know from our team look up to him and, and know it's possible to, to go on to the next level, so it's a good, good story. Yeah, that's true. Um, and another good story that's kind of come out of the Badgers lately is uh, Kurt himself. Um, a couple of years ago, he had an on-ice incident where his throat got cut by a skate blade. Um, I don't know if you can touch on that a little bit, Kurt, maybe the journey you've taken to get better and get back on the ice. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, you know, an eye-opener, not only for myself, but you know, for my teammates and a lot of people who know of, of the story. Um, basically, you know, jugular vein cut on the ice in Windsor during a game, um, and a lot of the nerves were affected in my arm, so I wasn't able to play last season. Um, I kept coming out with the guys, uh, skating, doing drills with the goalies, that sort of thing, just to stay involved in the game. Um, and then, you know, I had a surgery to re reconnect some of the nerves in my neck. Um, so now I'm actually able to, to lift my arm before, you know, I couldn't even get it to 90 degrees. And so it's come a long way and, uh, you know, I feel I've come a long way with it as well, on and off the ice. When, when something like that happens to you, you, you sure, you know, grab hold of little things in life. and get a whole new perspective on it so um, I think as far as you know what I bring to the team I think a lot of the guys you know take that example and and know that really anything is possible yeah and uh, you've done well this season um, and your team overall has kind of uh, come into its own and 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 you can just tell that things are transitioning into uh, 
a more positive stage for you guys. Um, I don't know if you want to expand on that a bit, Joey. Uh, how have you felt that the new rookies have come in and maybe the veterans have contributed as well to a more structured team and a better full team? Yeah, I think the, the new guys coming in especially have done a tremendous job adapting to the new, the new league and the new uh, caliber of hockey. A lot of guys come in from Junior B around here, some guys from OHL, and it's tough to, people always ask you how the team's going to do in the summer, and you want to say good, but you really don't know, because you don't know who's coming in, what kind of guys they are, but our guys have, have gelled so quick this year. We had a lot of team functions at the start of the year, like team building stuff, so they've done very well. They've, uh, I think our two top scorers are rookies this year, which is tremendous, helps us out a big time, to have depth throughout the lineup for scoring, and uh, a lot of new defense, young defense, done really well too, so uh, the team's done very well, I think, for the, the start of the year, we haven't got... Uh, the wins. We've only got uh, a few wins so far, but uh, hopefully we can build from that. And you know, the chemistry is big, and uh, hopefully throughout the year we can keep getting closer as a group and, and make a run in the playoffs and see what happens. You heard it here from the men's hockey team. I'm John Mattis, your host to Playing the Field, and we'll see you next time.